there was a gentleman or a pair of um, police officers that were affected by the Pulse shooting and their, their PTSD is so severe that they can't even work. And for somebody that's not been on the job or somebody who doesn't really understand um, how those things work, it's very hard for them to, to say, you know, why somebody can't go to work or whatever it is. And, you know, these, these guys have been so affected by it that it's debilitating. I've seen, since we've had some, some recent suicides, like um, a good friend of mine, uh, David Dangerfield, uh, took his own life. We've seen a dramatic shift in the, in the fire service from the top down. You know, they're trying to prevent that from happening in the future. They're trying to prevent a, or provide awareness as to how to prevent that from happening again, but also be hypervigilant and making sure that everybody has a place to go and or to talk to. The IFF has been a leader in that and they have a treatment center in just outside of DC for all the firefighters across the United States and Canada.